Hey my sassy fam, so today I'm going to be reviewing this one of a kind makeup brand from the States called Clove and Halo. I mean this is a really cruelty free, non-toxic and a vegan brand. So I'm going to be doing like an unboxing, swatches, first impressions and review video for you all using all of my favorites and latest launches by Clove and Halo. Now I got introduced to this brand while I was in the States as these products are made in USA and they use 100% clean vegan products. So a little bit about Clove and Halo. This brand is established and founded by a professional makeup artist and that is one of the main reasons why uh, they put heart and soul to bring forth such responsible makeup for us and so many other beauty enthusiasts and uh, beauty and makeup professionals around the globe. Now the aim of this brand to really combine powerful botanicals and oils to bring forth a really clean vegan and non-toxic brand that can be actually used by anyone and everyone so some of my new york friends absolutely swear by the clean formula and i think that we need more responsible and amazing products like these so clove and halo has a complete lip and face range along with their skincare they have a makeup melt also uh, they have lip glazes, they have lip creams, they have lip velvet and uh, so many other options like correct and conceal and compressed compact powder along with a refill, um, refillable compact pack. Ta -da! So this is how the box looks. It feels heavy definitely. I'm going to be starting with their lip velvets range because this is their um, matte liquid lipsticks and I've been eyeing them since the time I was in the States. These matte lipsticks come in seven beautiful shades. The first shade that I have is a perfect everyday wear shade. It is called Cupcake and it is their perfect beige nude shade. The second shade that I have is called Sugar Bear which is going to be a muted mauvey shade and those of you who know me know that I'm supremely supremely obsessed with mauvey pinky shades so these are going to be like your everyday essential shades. The third shade that we have is called Uptown which is again a really beautiful berry shade but with mauvish undertones so uh, I think this will be like your perfect test to dinner shade the fourth shade that we have is called Napa and it's going to be your perfect bold pink berry shade and I think this is going to be ideal for your dinner dates or parties the fifth shade ladies is called Fiesta which is your bright red shade uh, but it is not too in your face because it has like neutral tones to it So it's going to be like your startup red if you know what I mean if you want like a shade that uh, Of bright red, but you're not sure where to start at then Fiesta is going to be a savior for you The sixth shade is my favorite one road trip, which is like a hot hot pink but it has warm undertones to it and I think that there's a lot of traveling and you're going to be seeing me in a lot of IG photos with this one. The seventh and the last shade ladies is called Deep Navy which is like your blue, blue blackish? No, it looks like kind of a deep blue kind of shade. It's called Jet Setter and it's like a deep navy shade. Uh, I like the blue black effect to it, but it is definitely deep navy. So talking about the packaging, I really like the monochrome effect. And what I like the most about this is that they have mentioned the color along with the color tag. So you don't really have to open up the package as you saw. The color inside, the shade inside is exactly the way it is mentioned here. It's color coordinated, so it's really easy for us to pick the shades packaging says it's free from parabens, talc, synthetic flavor or any fragrances, animal byproducts and this is 100% 
clean, clean, clean vegan product, uh, which I really like. Also, the packaging says that swipe on the lips and allow 10 minutes for product to fully dry down. But I really, uh, my fan is off, my AC is off, and I really actually hands down have given it four to five minutes for it to dry. And as you can see, it's absolutely 100% dry and uh, in three to four minutes this is the cupcake shade that i'm wearing the product really is easy to work with it gets evenly distributed it doesn't get stuck or it doesn't feel sticky and it's so easy to work with when you initially start applying the product on your lips you feel like a creamy velvety texture and hence the name uh, lip velvet it's so apt and it's amazing to get a matte liquid lip the best part according to me about these lipsticks is that yes it's 100 matte uh, it doesn't dry up too quickly while you're applying the product you know some of the liquid lipsticks that i have in the while i'm applying the lipsticks on my lips they're great getting dried up so it gets a bit tricky uh, but it doesn't happen with these so you can take your time to use uh, the product and apply it evenly on your lips and this doesn't over dry or this doesn't cause any form of extra dryness to your lips because it is infused with vitamin A, shea butter and coconut oil which is really important to keep your lips hydrated. The pigmentation of each and every shade of this lipstick is bang on and I really like the smooth application of it and the overall effect that it adds to your lips. Also, I really am proud and happy to see that women entrepreneurs all around the world put in so much effort, heart, blood and sweat in their businesses. It really strikes a chord with me personally because I feel that I as a woman and we as women need to support other women entrepreneurs that come up with such amazing ideas. So if you're really tired of using your overly dry and uh, cakey liquid lipsticks, man liquid lippies, then I think you can definitely invest in uh, Chloe and Halo Lip Velvets lippies. I absolutely love the consistency of these lip velvets by Chloe and Halo. And they feel so good when you apply them. I mean, it's practically like you're wearing no layer. Uh, and one of the main reasons is because they are 100% non-toxic. Now, before I let you guys go, I think I should personally share something with you all that I know uh, because I've spoken to so many makeup artists and entrepreneurs, especially in New York and LA, who have their own businesses of beauty and makeup or skincare and Many of them have told me that they try to bring forth clean, non-toxic and cruelty-free vegan makeup but there are such high costs involved in it because it's not easy. Usually some of the products that are used in otherwise um, other brands or cosmetics that you see that are not vegan or not non-toxic or cruelty-free, many of the other products use something called as beeswax which is available easily in the market and it is so affordable. It isn't vegan but it is affordable and it is one of the reasons why brands prefer using beeswax. But Clove and Halo Lip Velvets have sunflower seed wax and which is really amazing because sunflower seed oil isn't easily available. It is uh, vegan, it is expensive, um, and it is 100% cruelty free. Now, sunflower seed wax will also stabilize emulsions or oil based products. And this is one of the main reasons why the lip velvets by Clove and Halo give a very clean, smooth, and an even finish on your lips. I would say that please give Clove and Halo a try if you love using vegan, cruelty free, and 100% non toxic products. Clove and Halo is one of the really honest brands i would say from usa and the founder is putting in a lot of hard work and a lot of blood and sweat uh, and heart into this endeavor i actually cannot wait to bring you all another review using club and halo products with their conceal and correct and other products as well which i'm dying to try and review and bring forth my honest earnest first impressions and review and swatches for you all i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to follow club and halo for all their latest launches and stay updated on what's more in store for you all like share subscribe and i hope 
I truly hope from the bottom of my heart that you appreciate and love more vegan products, more cruelty-free products. And I hope you like this review. Stay sassy, guys.